on Twitter and everywhere else. Oh, no, so, so, get rid of that. I was just minding my business. <clears throat> I was just minding my business. As I flip my flip bit, flip my fit bit back. We got Rod Smith. Let me on. Uh, I need my camera. But we don't want to get too far ahead. You know, and Coach Landry always needs to tell us back in the day. One game at a time. I need my camera. Drew Pierce is on the microphone. Yo. Next one up. Okay. Take this goddamn camera bag with me. Oh my damn camera go missing. <laughs> the damn backdrop beautiful. That's a nice backdrop, bro. ESPN right here. Do your thing, I'm gonna hit you on the live joint. Then on top of that, and, and, and those hands, and you know, hands, and, and hands. hey, finesse. finesse. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little skip, nah. yeah. <laughs> but all right, man, we'll keep you holding. We're gonna hold you much longer, man. Appreciate you, man. No much love. Brother, yes, sir. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, Red. Uh, and a lot of these guys together, they get like over a million impressions. All right. Yeah. I didn't even have a question. I was winging it. <laughs> I was winging it. Especially in the offseason, these are the guys that keep all the fans into them. Trying to be. Trying to be. Trying to be. Coming up. Yeah, so. Yeah. We're going to shoot up there again this year. Oh, absolutely. So you probably saw West Coast that was there at camp. Uh, West Coast is a big Facebook. So we got Tyson West Coast. Uh, does he have this? No, he's shaved. Bald guy, short. I know you're talking about the long guy. What do you look like? Yeah, I know you're talking about the long guy. Uh, West Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Eddie Griffin. He, he, he look like Eddie Griffin. He look like Eddie Griffin. Yeah, yeah. And they always say I look like James Harden, but I, you know, bro, I wasn't gonna say nothing. You look dead on James Harden. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the beard. The beard's immaculate. About, yeah. From, from the second I walked in, he yeah. looked like, oh, okay. He like, I'm that taller than James Harden. Nah, nah, nah. He's like, see, mate. Okay, we got some guest guests up in here. <laughs> Good stuff, man. <laughs> That's all they do, man. You can't hoop though, long. You can't hoop though. Oh my bad. That don't that don't mean that. We hoop out there. Somebody hooping that. They hooping Jackson, but they hooping that. Cowboys XP. Rod, so how how do y'all decide? So I see you after the game all the time and ask. Is it like an attire everyone knows? Because there's a big difference between like you and let's say uh, Law, you know, D Law. I mean, he's up there, Versace, Versace, Versace. So you look right. I look best foot forward. Man, that watch hurt my eyes, though, man. What, what is that, though? <laughs> ah, that, what is. Ah, that. I noticed you and your brother. 
you and your brother got style, man. I mean, who, who did y'all get that from? Is that from your parents? Yeah. Just picked up. Yeah. Absolutely. Hell, do y'all have any uh, questions for Rod? Any nice questions for Rod? Not no BS for Rod? Because I know how y'all can be. <laughs> you know what I want him to do? What's up? I want to know if he do the swipe when he's going to touch that. Tomorrow. That's funny. That's funny. Wait, wait. <laughs> if he just swipe like, bro. Uh, <laughs> when he do the swipe tomorrow, you know, when he's going to touch that. Man. It'd be nice. I think the boy Gallo's going to uh, gonna get some uh, TDs tomorrow. Yeah, be good, man. Won't that be something? I'm not gonna ask Rod Smith are we gonna win tomorrow. Man, we gonna win tomorrow. He's, he's gonna say we're gonna win tomorrow. What'd you say? We're gonna win tomorrow. We're gonna win tomorrow. It is easy, easy peasy, let me squeeze. If y'all got a question, we can run it for that. Uh with this beautiful backdrop. <laughs> backdrop, backdrop precious. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? With the Vice Lombardi, got it on my garments. Y'all follow it on Twitter, cool. Um, man, Joe's a big dude, man. Let me move my camera out the way. Actually, let me, um, I need some B-roll. No, I don't need no B-roll. I'll just leave the cam on the side. We'll just leave the cam on the side. But Jumbo Joe Looney about to come over here before he, uh, before he, uh, makes this move. What's up? Get the hands on this side. Can I get hands inside of here? Can't get hands inside of Joe. <laughs> Not going to be able to do it. Uh, Joe, Vice Lombardi, what's, what's that? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Said at some point, maybe in the off season we'll do something and uh, maybe do some appearance or something, but we'll do some kind of thing, just like real life stuff. Push, yeah. get them on the, yeah. said, do some fun stuff. Or some kind of stuff. Let me know where to show up. Let's break down some film or something, man. That's what I'm into, man. I like the action. I actually played center a long, long, long time ago. Nothing big like this, man. But man, I love X and O's, man. So I would love to pick your brain on stuff like that. Uh, See, that's an offensive lineman talk, so we smart, you know what I mean? See, so we up here, you know what I mean? We got Joe Looney right here, man. We about to ask Joe Looney. We about to ask Joe some questions, man. We about to ask, ask, ask Jumbo Joe this, man. And you know what? You know what? I got a question, too. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna talk about moving a gap and blocking the mic. We gonna talk about that. Because that's all I talk about on my show. If I tell him to holler at Gary, we want to see him with the ball more. I'm not going to ask Ross Smith to holler at Jason Gary for getting the ball more. Give me something else. <laughs> Give me something else. <laughs> Joe Luna beard kind of thick too, man. Unless we got a look. Unless we got <laughs> Let's we got let's we got the beard war up in here. Come on now. Come on now. The beard war has been lost by watch. Yeah, I mean I don't I don't have a beard at all. I'm 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 lacking here. I'm lacking. If y'all got a question for Joe Looney, a good question for Joe Looney. Well, so Peter said I watch film on my channel, right? And I'm constantly telling people. We have to move a guy. We got to block the backside linebacker, man. And people don't really understand how 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 pivotal that is. You the center. <laughs> you got to communicate all this within 10 seconds. <laughs> Can you tell the people how strenuous it is <laughs> to get all that done? Make sure all your guys are good. We straight. Then snap the ball and move somebody. Just talk about that. Uh, no, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult, but, uh, you know, uh, this is what we play football for. You know? yeah. This is why we're professional athletes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, luckily enough for us, we got a good quarterback back there that knows what he's doing. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, honestly, man, I got, you know, Zach Martin next to me, Pro Bowler. I mean, probably one of the greatest to ever do it. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I sit there, rely on them, rely on those guys. Travis is over there helping me out. So that's what we try to do, man. Just all work as a team. I got a less serious question. Zach Martin seems like he has a nasty growl. So when y'all comboing people, right? <laughs> Does he have a nasty growl? And what does that sound like when he when it, when y'all when y'all combo on one text? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's like a uh, you know, kind of like a. It's, face? A, it's a you know, it's a scary growl. So, man. Same like, face and everything. That face you just made I right there. I wouldn't want to be in front of the guy. You know, I'm in Zach yeah. position right there. Game day, I'm not lining up against Zach Martin. So. Yeah, <laughs> I tell you what, man, like. People may not tell you, man, but but as, as as far as playing center, you've done an amazing job of coming in and not being noticed. Because right. as an offensive line, 
if we notice you, if they're saying your name on TV, you're wrong. And we want to fire you, we want to get rid of you. But you've done a great job of not giving up big plays, man. But you're uh you're you're not a young guy. You you you've done this for a while. So hey man, tell us about your growth, man. Tell us about about actually selling into the center spot. Cause this we hope Travis gets better, but this is your offensive line center-wise until he gets back. So tell us about the comfort at the spot. Well, you know, um, just uh, being a backup, you know, having that backup role, it's our job, you know, to re be ready whenever uh, whenever your number is called. And uh, the expectation is that, you know, there's not supposed to be any letdown. And, uh, you know, I've been a backup, you know, seven years up until this time. And, uh, you know, I'm, so I've always kind of prepared like I've been a starter. Okay. And uh, sitting next to Travis Frederick for three years, you know, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't get a better player, you know, to, to learn from and to teach you. So, Absolutely. You know, give, you know, give, give big props to him, you know, uh, for helping me out and doing what he does. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, yeah, my thought is just go out there and put my best, you know, just have fun. Okay. Dude, that's what's it. Let me uh let me uh, make sure I say his name right. Xavier Suafilo. Oh yeah. How how um how is he playing next to him? How how fast is he picking up things? Does he have a nasty growl that he you know that he does in combo blocks? Oh, no, I mean this guy has one of the best smiles you ever see in your life. Okay. And uh, but no, you know Xavier is a great football player. You know he's been in the league you know for a very long time. Yeah. I mean, he started you know 45 plus games in the NFL, so right. you know, the guy knows what he's doing. And uh, I mean, he probably has the best hair on the team too. Yeah, I saw. I saw. <laughs> that dude's hair looks. Okay, so last non-serious question: Suafilo's hair or old Beasley hair? Because Beasley's old hair was luxurious. Hey, it's majestic, I think is the word. I, I can't say no to old Beasley's hair. Yeah. You know, it reminds me. Have you ever seen the movie Carrie? Yeah. You remember? Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the guy's name that took her to prom? Captain oh, Carrie. Uh, oh man, it, but his locks—they look yeah. just alike. And I mean, yeah. Just magical, heavenly. Oh Can't man. Say no to it. Joe Bo, Joe, appreciate shake my hand on Cam <laughs> for the people. Salute to you, sir. Thank you. Hey, I still got a better beard, man. Yeah, like, Law, Law, Law Nation oh, yeah. feeling insecure about his beard. Yeah, come on, man. He feeling insecure about his beard. Get out of here. You can't fake this and the curls. That's all natural. You, you the curls. combo, the combo wins <laughs> that. They that's better than me. But that's juices and berries. That's juices and berries. <laughs> they better than me. Uh, I'm not gonna ask him that question. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask him about Connor Williams that tight end. <laughs> Looney is a beast. <laughs> chat box look, they chat box look, they say you hilarious, fam. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Shouts out to David David Alexander. He say, Go Joe Looking. <laughs> Looney. He says you're a ball. Hey, that's Law Nation put me on the spot. And I didn't have questions, but I figured it out. That's the second time Law's done it. That's the second time Law. That's the second. I'm bringing him in. That's the second time Law Nation put me on the spot, and I didn't have questions, but I got it done. That's what I do, man. I figured it out. I figured it on the spot. There we go. David Alexander the Great. What's up, man? What are the what are the what are the optics of that situation? <laughs> what about those optics? <laughs> A swag right there. A swag right there. Come on, Joe loves kids. Joe, Joe's another big dude. Man, just everybody got beers around here. I can't stand this. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody's beer is immaculate, but mine. Joe love the kids. Joe love the kids. This is so dope. You the best vibe. Thank you, Nene. We now here. I told y'all. I was gonna work out here. I told y'all we was gonna get it done. But we getting it done though. <laughs> Tell Joe to do more teammate interviews. You know the uh, DallasCowboys.com. Uh, <laughs> Dallas. I'm curious, what's the what's the added kind of talking about Bosch, you know, having to kind of relay information quickly to the rest of the line. Is that even more important in this case with like a Washington front that gets after you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they're, they're really designing their team, you know, uh, around their guys. That man said he going to play with them. Bless us, man. We need, we need more of them. We need more of them. Right. Go 
out there and play our game, man. Just, you know, do what we can do. Yeah. That's it. That's the bottom line. No, definitely. I made it with two. He ran it Greg. Randy got tools, man. Man, that boy got tools. Randy, yeah, Randy got tools, man. Huh? <laughs> I see him. His chest for him. He'll set you up. He's on. He can touch this pole from here. When your arms long and your hands are twice the size of mine, I mean, that's, you know, your punch is nasty. Your punch is extended, man. All he got to do is. Like it was, um, it was a stunt or something. And Randy just got rid of the dude just swimming over because he had so much to do. So much to do. Yes, sir. 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 We'll see what's going on. Y'all cracking me up on What the V talking about? How is the blocking scheme different? I don't think the scheme is that much different. I don't think the blocking scheme is too, 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 too much different. I'll ask him though. I'll ask him. That's a good question. <clears throat> I'll ask him. I don't mind, but one more question, my last go, go ahead. Chatbox wanted to know, um, and we're not gonna throw a soul under the bus, but what is Mark Colombo doing correct? Like, like what's the difference? Like, what's changed between week seven and week ten or eleven? Well, uh, I think he's just, uh, you know, he brings so much enthusiasm and whatnot to the game. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's, he's played for the Cowboys, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, Dallas, just being here, you know, uh, running the football mm -hmm. is just something that's, you know, just a tradition here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, having guys like Travis, Zach, Tyron, you know, these guys hold up that tradition. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's what we want to do. Like, that's our that's our mindset going out there. You know, we, we want to establish our dominance and try to run the football. So his attitude. Oh, yeah. His attitude. We got, we, got, we got wrestling matches in the locker room to see who's tough. That's what he brings to the table. That's what Mark Colombo brings to the table. <laughs> what other question y'all got? What nice question y'all got? <laughs> That's acceptable. You asked him about the switch technique-wise going from Alexander to Colombo. Seems like you kind of touched on that. Nothing different. Nothing different. Nothing different. Mindset. Mindset, temperament, and I guess we just don't like Paul Alexander. I will, I will, I will. Music to like heavy metal. I will touch on that. Yes, sir. Did you ask we good about Colombo's heavy metal band? Nope. That'll, that'll be your question. Uh, Vice look like Leo Collins, not true. Yeah, you do kind of look like Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Juan Wick says, yes, sir, we have got to contain a gap, and we have got to block the mic. Nothing else matters, especially when you run his own his own run schemes, man. It's the only thing that matters. You can fire all the coaches you want. You can bring in whatever coach you want. If you ain't blocking a gap, it don't matter. I do not look like Leo Collins. <laughs> Joe gonna laugh. Joe, Joe, no, go, no, Joe no, gonna laugh. Like, like, put it on wax, Joe gonna laugh. Put it on wax, man. I do not look like Leo Collins. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Take care of your business. <laughs> Take care of your bitch. You ain't funny. <laughs> Vach, as Heath, can a brother get a, get an interception? Like, just tip it, try and tip it to Byron, seeing he was about to get blown up. Oh, I'm, like, I'm like, that's so bang bang. No one expects to get lit up like that in that situation. People don't get football. People don't really understand football. They they can't. <laughs> just in the middle of the play. Yeah. Julio Jones and your sternum. I'm going to get it to Byron. Yeah, like he's looking up here for the ball. He pitches it, and as his head's coming down, he gets hit in the chest. <laughs> I'm going to get it to Byron. Uh, Jeff Heath is allegedly on the way. Jeff Heath, right? Jeff Heath's the other one, yeah. Jeff Heath is, is the third guy. I believe he's the third guy advertised. Yeah, yeah, so we got, um, he, he probably hadn't made it yet. Um, they got the, uh, Dancing Cowboy fellas. You know, they, Cowboys. you know, they, you know, they dance and all that. <laughs> so we, you know, we ain't really gotta get them involved. You know, we ain't gotta get the copyright strikes with the music and all that. But, um, hey man, we up in here, uh, live canteen in the colony. Dallas. Uh, what's it like, Frisco or something? Uh, this area I think is the Colony. You from here? Oh, it's the Colony. Okay, so yeah, the Colony. That's the name of the motherfucker. So, hey man, if y'all out here, 
Oh, if y'all around, come on out here. Nebraska furniture. Buy Nebraska furniture, Mark. You, <laughs> look for the couches. You won't miss them. Uh, but yeah, man, this is uh, it's basically media work, media, media availability. <laughs> so we doing that. Get my interviews going. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna be the live stream correspondent. Law is such a piece of shit. This is why, because Law is our questions guy. Like Law asks questions. I do film, and. Um, I mean, Law put me on the spot twice to come up with questions. I got it done. Because I'm me. I got it done. God damn, Carl Lewis. <laughs> Let me know so I can write something down before I get out of the truck next time, you know? Um, they passing out stuff for the little situation over there or whatnot. The little ticket stuff. Passing out stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, we waiting on Heath. I think Drew Drew Pearson did his thing already. Me and me and Law out here, cool and Dosky Walsky, everything's everything. So Jeff Hitman Heath, that's crazy. Great name. Oh, there you go. Ask Keith about uh. You gonna put DDP on the camera? Ask a question or something, DDP. What's up, Jeff? Lost the game. put me on the spot three times to ask questions. I don't mind. I'll get it done. Oh, so, Jeff, so, so, do you ever get mad when, you know, because I think you have ball hawk skills. I, I, I definitely think you got a lot of range. You got a lot of IQ. Plus, you can play strong in the box and tackle. Do you, do you like not like being like rated properly or whatever? Because you're very underrated in my opinion. <laughs> I don't mind, man. Let me step on the yeah. Yeah. You don't mind? Yeah. I don't mind, no. As long as, uh, as, long as my teammates yeah. are like what I'm doing, my coaches and people who uh, sign my checks like what I'm doing, then that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Can you rap? I mean, it just kind of looks like you rap a little bit. I can't rap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Y'all almost had an interception last week. Uh, yeah. Julio Jones kind of hit you in the sternum. Did that hurt pretty bad? Uh, it did for a little bit. Just got the wind knocked on me a little bit. Came, okay, uh, came right on back. Yeah. What are we gonna do tomorrow, man? What's the uh, what's the big keys to the game tomorrow? It's just whatever you can give away. Not really game plan stuff. Yeah, man. We just gotta we just gotta play our style of football. You know, when we when we play well and we're winning games, uh, we're just playing our style. Our offense is controlling the ball. We're running the ball. Uh, converting on third down and defense goes out we stop the run and uh just get off the field so that's really all, all it takes you don't have to do anything special so peep this out i got about thirty thousand people in this chat box but one person loves you to death loves you to death can you just say hey tasha and wave for him hey tasha <laughs> he's jeff he said hey tasha we got it done for you there you go she was mad when julio hit you she cussed julio clean out <laughs> what you got love Jeff, you can get three interceptions tomorrow. You're gonna take Tasha. You're gonna take Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. So, um, so um, Cole McCoy gets hurt, right? I mean, um, Alice gets hurt. Cole McCoy starts. Yeah. So, you as a safety, like, does that change your job any moving forward, um, like preparation wise or anything like that? Uh, no, not really. You just gotta know, like, most teams are just try to they'll run their system. You know that the backup. Uh, quarterback, and he can run the system just as well as a starter. Um, as far as like watching film, you just gonna you have to get a little different feel because you don't have as much film on that quarterback, so you don't get a, as good of a feel for how he surveys the field and uh, how he looks when he's throwing deep or how he looks when he's throwing short, stuff like that. But uh, I mean, there's film of him in preseason stuff like that, so we got we have uh, yeah we have we have all that stuff. On 2014 yeah. tape, you watch a lot of that. Uh, we That's didn't played us, right? Yeah, we didn't watch much of it just because teams are so different now. But uh, you know, we watched some of the preseason, and then you know when he got in the game last week. Someone, someone in my uh, chat box, they want to know what you what you um, think about our linebackers. I'm sure you love them, but personally, what you think about our linebackers? Yeah, I love those guys, man. They're uh, they're playing really well for us. Um, you know, I think they're very versatile. They're very athletic, and. Okay. Uh, Okay, then, so you have to tackle a 50-year-old running back this week. <laughs> don't hold back. <laughs> Shake my hand on cam, please. He don't run like he's 50. He don't run like he's 50. Thank you very much, Doski Wolves. That's Jeff Heath, y'all. All right, Jeff. I appreciate you. That's the third time Law Nation has put me on the spot. Every time. Why does he – why, why does Law – Law. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I'm thinking I'm just gonna be. Oh man, we were recording the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was recording. I'm thinking I'm just gonna be guy okay. laid in the back chilling. I was I'm saying what the hell red light was I staring at? <laughs> hey, my, my thing is my voice is so low that he's uh -huh. gonna be like, hey man, what'd you say again? You got a good voice. It has nothing to do with my voice. You didn't have a question for Jeffy Prosper. No! So what you liked my question though, you lifted it at the end. What's your question? <laughs> the exact one you asked about the difference in quarterback. You said that? Yeah, I was saying I was like, hey, when Jeff take. gets here, ask about this. And then you asked. You asked me that. <laughs> yeah. You did ask me that. My bad. My bad. It, 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 it was in I, my mind. I was, even, I was even like, hey Jeff. Oh. You did it for the credit to that question. Yeah, man. Look, I thought even I was. Though it's not, even though it's not my face on camera. I thought I had the easy job. I thought DDP was gonna be here for the numbers and stats. Law was gonna be here for the optics, and he was gonna ask the questions. He's the interview guy. He keeps things on track. Shit, I did the interview. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. It's on my garments. DDP's the writer. DDP. Nah, he's the writer. Now DDP is the writer. Check your boy out. He uh he make beats for Cole Beasley. He's our producer. Go ahead, my go man. Ahead. Yeah, yeah, shake my man. shake my hand on cam for the nice people. <laughs> salute, right. salute, sir. Got any plugs you want to get to the people? Hey man, y'all go check out that new Cole Beasley coming out there you soon. Go. Okay. Fire. Coming soon. There you go. November the thirtieth. Look out for it. Yes sir. Yes sir. November thirtieth. That new beat. Check him out. Check them out, check them out, check them out. Man, you okay, good, man. So you're looking at the dapper in this. Always. Be your game, be your game. Y'all gonna, gonna stop, man. Y'all gonna leave me alone. Y'all gonna leave me alone. Uh, so, so, so we good on wrap up or we gonna get Drew over here? We all good? Drew old school, he's getting about a hole over there. Yeah, Drew gonna be, <laughs> Drew gonna be by, the, by, the, by the water hole. He gonna, Drew gonna be by the water hole. And you know it's on the house too. Yeah, that's up. You know it's on the house, boy. All right, so we probably gonna shut this thing down because I ain't trying to get my, uh, my uh, no uh, copyright strikes or nothing like that. So, yeah, we'll wrap the here, we'll yeah. set up upstairs and go podcast. Yeah, and uh, you know, like if something happened, we'll just reopen it and we'll just run it like that for the cardio. Let me, uh, actually, let me step back out and run through the chat box real fast, see what y'all was talking about. He was given a job by default when we didn't resign our safeties. I don't think so. I think he earned that job, but we wasn't gonna ask him that. Um, Van Der Esch ain't here. I don't, I don't think Van Der Esch is here. Ask someone would be the right when the kind one. He's gonna get a pick six. I hope so. Uh, I need some answers by Kayvon Frazier. Is he healthy? Man, yeah, probably. He freezes up. They probably freeze up. They probably freeze up. I had to ask all the questions. That's crazy as hell. Logo, shake hands and do the damn intro and 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 look most important. Yeah, I'm gonna pass it over to my man Vice Lombardi, and I gotta go. Ah, uh, <laughs> schematically. <laughs> When you're in the box and they do the thing with Chris Thompson, you know. Come on now. But we get it done, though. We get it done. He's trying to teach you young blood on the fly, reporter. Uh, get used to it. You sign up for this. I am not a reporter. I'm a film guy. <laughs> I just happen to be a film media personality. It's a difference. I'm not a reporter. Um, what's Van Der Esch nickname on the team? Oh, that's a good one. What they call Van Der Esch? That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know. Mm. You right, Miss Nita. We getting it done. <clears throat> this made to pull the trigger on the Joe Looney jersey. Hey, Joe's, Joe's a good dude. Joe's a good dude. Mm, I think that's good to go. I think we good to go. I don't think he can out jump Byron. Byron can jump. Byron can jump. Hey, Vach, ask Heath uh, what he loves the most about man. Okay. That was a long one. 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 Uh, keys of victory tomorrow. I'll, I'll check on that. Hey, and y'all saw how I lied and said there's 30,000 people in this chat box. Boy, no 30,000 people in this guy. <laughs> Gotta figure my way to the top, round and around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there you go, Tosh. We did that for you. Yes, indeed. So I'm about to uh, get back with the crew. About to go find Drew Pearson, check out what the rest of the event looking like. If anything happens, we'll load back up. Me, Law Nation, and DDP are going to do a live stream from the roof um, in a little bit. Maybe a podcast, maybe not a live stream. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but guys are doing autographs over there. Um, so I'm going to check back in with y'all in a little bit. Doski Wolf, salute. <laughs>